The socio-economic development of every country depends on the health of its human resources. Africa has over the years depended on the Western countries for medications or drugs to solve some of its illness, despite having the continent's traditional oral herbal medicine treatment. However, clinical trials on many of the drugs imported are not African-centered, a situation the World Health Organization has expressed worry and advised that such clinical trials on various medications to Africa must be conducted in the region. Clinical trials are generally the testing of molecules developed in drugs in order to ascertain its level of dosage or toxicity for the safety of patients. And it goes through various processes from laboratory testing to animal testing and eventually to human lives. It is at the back of this that Partners for Patients, an NGO within the healthcare system, together with the Ghana Armed Forces, have organized a training on clinical trials for health practitioners in Africa. The public health physicians and head of the Ghana Armed Forces Non-Communicable Disease Unit, Daniel Mengels, revealed that the training is in the best interest of the patient and will ensure an advancement in healthcare delivery and medications. Particular training is it comes to boost the confidence of the patient, of the patient in our processes in that the FDA is striving towards improving patient safety and ensuring that anything that a patient in Ghana is going to consume should have passed through the rigorous process before certification, which improve, includes clinical trials. So if we are going to use our traditional medications, then it means that and to be certified for the right dosage to be determined. Because for instance, if somebody herbally tells you take one cup, my grandma's cup is as big as a pill. My cup is as small as a jug, as a, as a mug. So what, what is the dosage actually? So this clinical trials, if the capacity is developed, I mean, we have, this is not to say we don't have clinical trial capacity in the country. We do, the FDA does. So, but I mean, you need more centers to run it, to be able to. So this seeks to improve the capacity of most centers to run clinical trials. We can only get better. So we seek just to be better at what we are doing. That's why we are trying to also improve the diversity in them. I mean, to say in the US, for instance, of course, when you are doing the clinical trials, there might be a lot of African-Americans maybe in there, but then the percentage will not be representative enough of the African continent. So looking at our ethnicities and all, they might not have that kind of diversity. So once you have a multi-center kind of trial, where you are taking from each place, you have a much more representative of the, what the African continent um, should look like in terms of metabolism of certain medication toxicities, and that would help us safeguard our patients much better. The founder of Partners for Patients, NGO, Mimi Chon Kinios, who has over 32 years of working experience, says clinical trials remain at the heart of science, hence Ghana remains a hub of excellence. Clinical trials remains at the heart of all science and the advancement of innovative medicines and therapies. So for me, I absolutely can see that Ghana is doing this already. So together, I think stronger science and stronger research together is really going to improve patient lives to find the cures for the most difficult diseases. Everything here in Ghana is just so high quality. One of the things that we keep seeing is the improvements time over time. And I think the Ghana entire government as well as the healthcare system does everything they can within their reach to help patients. And I think we're here just to facilitate the continuous advancement of research and clinical trials throughout Ghana and then of course throughout Africa, making Ghana the center of excellence. Former Miss Ghana Beauty Queen Stephanie Kakari highlighted the importance of the training to improving healthcare delivery in Ghana. And this is, it's, it's very clear that Ghana needs a lot of support and improvement with our healthcare. So I believe this initiative is it's just, it's brilliant because it's something that we have needed for a while now. So them coming in to do something like this is very laudable and I think we should be able to support them the best way we can.